and welcome to Hobby King. I'm Robert and this video is an overview and build of the Creality Ender 3 V2 3D printer. This is the ultra silent version so I'm really curious to hear how quiet it actually is because uh, it can get quite annoying to have a 3D printer going zzz, 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 you know next to you in your office all day long. <laughs> so if you don't have a space to stash it away from you um, yeah it can get pretty annoying. So I'm excited about this. So without further ado, let's crack into it and see what's in the box. Okay, so here's everything out of the box. And I will admit, it looks a bit intimidating. But I am confident that Creality has supplied us with uh, excellent instructions that are going to help us get this set up properly. So let's get to it. Okay, the build is complete. Assembly was relatively straightforward. There were a few things in the manual that were somewhat unclear, so I just went very, very slowly and uh, you know dry fit everything before putting it together finally and tightening everything down. I discovered that I accidentally had these wires going over this bar, so I had to remove that and get them underneath there. Um, the location to mount this was not super straightforward to me and clear. Uh, I wasn't sure if it mounted here or over there, but uh, I figured it out. It goes all the way forward like that. 
And so now we're at the point of powering up and auto homing and bed leveling and all that stuff. So let's get to it. And next we're going to go to bed leveling and to do that you arrange, you use a piece of paper and slide it underneath the extruder in the four corners and just make sure that, and you use these big knobs underneath here to level the bed. As you can see the printer is now printing and it is quiet. I gotta say the fan is the loudest element of it. The motors themselves are practically silent. I'm just printing the uh, little cat figure that came on the SD card with it and I'm reading it directly from the card right now. I'm also going to do some prints from the computer. I use, I've been using Repetier Host for, for printing for some time now, so I'm comfortable with it and I like it. Um, I've certainly used Cura and some of the other programs, but uh, Repetier is the one I'm most familiar with, so I'm going to stick with that for now. But I'll try some other ones. But um, So yeah, like I said, the fan is the loudest element of this, as you can hear, the motor's practically silent, which is kind of nice. So um, this could be the kind of thing where you could have it nearby in the same room as you and if that fan noise doesn't really bother you too much, you'll be just fine with it. In summation, I am very pleased with this printer so far. At $269, it's an outstanding value. It's got a big surface, 222, 2250, so you can print decent sized stuff. The resume print feature is great. It works very well. I actually got about three quarters of the way through this kitty last night, so I paused the print, went home, uh, shut the unit down, went home for the night, and came back in the morning, powered up. It immediately asked me if I wanted to continue the print. I said yes, and it continued the print. <laughs> and I have to say that the print quality itself is outstanding. This little kitty, um, which was on the card, it comes with a cat and a dog, um, is excellent. I mean, this the. You know, you can really hardly see the lines. It's very, very well done. And so I'm very pleased with that. And again, that was just right off the card. I don't know what the settings were and blah, blah, blah. And I'm sure that at some point I'll get into more advanced settings with Repetier Host or Cure or whatever I end up using. But, um, you know, just stock right out of the box. It printed this little thing and it looks great. And I did, uh, I just put a little color on it with some magic markers just to make it look cool. But, uh, <laughs> So um, it's got other cool features, uh, you know, it'll obviously print PLA, TPU, PETG, and ABS, and all that stuff. It's 1.75 with a 0.4 nozzle, so it's, it's right in the same vein as all the other major printers out there, and uh, so it's very competitive at this price point. So I would say if you're looking to get into 3D printing, get your hands on one, you will not be disappointed. If you have any questions or comments about the unit or this video, please reach out to us on support or in the comments of YouTube where you're seeing this. We have live chat 24-7 support. We have support ticket system through email. And you can stay current with us and all our cool stuff at Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and uh, you know social media and all that stuff. So until next time, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this with me, and I'll see you next time.